And right out of school, uh, we had so many ideas that, you know, would rely on recurring subscription models. But we couldn't actualize it then because of the obvious. There was no pay stack. We had InterSwitch at the time, but you know it was very difficult getting on board. You had to pay a lot of money to even get the integrations done. It was very, very bulky. So I think we should, can we put our hands together for Paystack? So they basically came and changed the game for everybody. If we launched Piggy Bank in 2015, it would have failed. But we launched at the time where it just launched. So you made our work easier. So I would say a lot of things have changed over time. And it basically helped simplify the process of starting a business, collecting payments online today, whether recurring or not. If you pay with your card, it's 9995. If you pay cash, it's 15K. And very quickly, people, we went to 100% card adoption, even though we're using a foreign payment system. So I think, so my position is just give people, explain to people why you think this is important, um, give them good value for money, and they will adopt it. Nigerians will never ever pay for something that they don't see any value in. So it's easier to sell something and you say, you know what, if you do this, you're going to be benefiting in this way, you're going to gain this and that, and then they see it as like a plus, and then they take it. So if you are not selling value, it becomes very difficult to sell, number one, subscription, number two, um, get to the point where you tell people to have to pay monthly and it's um, automatic. So when we started three years ago, it was really very difficult because first of all, we had to convince people to buy, that was stage one. Stage two, you had to make them pay, that was second phase. Stage three, you have to convince them to keep paying you every month. I was the biggest headache. It's easier for me to calculate and know how many people are going to be with me for one year. How many people are going to be with me for six months rather than have a large pool of people who just come for one month or two and they are gone. Then we went into partnership with different other newspapers that Nigerians always pay for in foreign currency. So Financial Times, The Economics, Wall Street Journal. So we needed to give you value to make sure that you are happy that I'm paying my money but I'm not losing. So I'm, I'm definitely benefiting and then I want to stay on. The online market is massive. The offline market is also big. But the problem with offline is that you cannot quantify the, the amount of marketing you're doing. So, as a growing business, it's important for us to understand our unit economics. So what that helps us to do is, we're able to calculate our exact cost to acquire one customer. We're very particular about that because we've run businesses in the past, and you need to understand that you need to look at your numbers currently. So you cannot, you cannot just you know, go offline because, oh, it's one option. The biggest challenge is convincing people to pay for a news platform. It's very hard. Nigerians rather pay for food, for drink, even if it's entertainment or fun. But once you say pay for something that you think is of value, that's going to help your business or help you grow, they become very apprehensive to it. Now, for us, we've decided to find out ways to make it fun and build like a community around what we do. So, Let's have forums, let's have events, let's have partnerships. So therefore you don't look at it as just paying for news, but you look at it as having to be in a community or a network of other business. Um, video content around business, finance and investment. We always try to provide them with information that we think is favorable to their business. And then we've also created like a community. So if you're a subscriber, for all our events that kind of help your business, you don't pay. Then we also create kind of events and projects that will feel will be beneficial to your business. If we also have first-hand information around probably loans, investments, or stuff that will affect your business, you're going to be the first to know. So we've, we've grown beyond just having it to be 
pay us for something and just take a walk. No. So from time to time, we have events that will bring them together. We have networking section. We have book review section. We have meet. Um, so for instance, maybe people want to meet a particular CEO or MD to help their business. We create an event around that and all subscribers don't pay. So we're doing a lot. Even, so for instance, during Christmas, during Easter, Valentine, we we'll always come up with something that is going to be of benefit.